Quick start. You've assembled the booth, now let's get to setting it up. First, let's set up the GoPro connection. Go into the device connection on your camera as shown in the video. Then go to the wireless camera connection helper tab. Click on pair camera. This will bring up the Bluetooth devices window. If you have Windows 11 make sure Bluetooth devices discovery is set to advanced. Then add a new device. Click Bluetooth and select your camera. The camera will tell you that it has connected. Back in the app, tap scan, find your camera and select it, then tap connect. In a few moments the camera will connect via Bluetooth and start connecting via Wi-Fi. Check that you have selected the wireless adapter, and in a few moments the camera will connect via Wi-Fi. It is important to know that if you need to connect to the internet, use the optional Wi-Fi adapter. Go to the camera tab. Go to GoPro. Make sure that the camera is connected to the Wi-Fi and the camera is connected. Go to video mode. This is where you can adjust the camera's FPS. Let's choose 120 FPS for this shoot. FPS can be selected both from the program and on the camera itself. The camera is set. Now let's connect the platform. Go to the scene control window and select the spinner tab. Select the type of connection you want to use. Bluetooth or USB. Click on enable. If you are using Bluetooth, click on scan and wait for the name of your platform to appear in the list of available devices. Select the name of the booth. This name can be seen on the sticker on the controller at the bottom of the booth. Controller name starts with DT, spin, serial number. Great, the platform is connected. If you connect via USB just plug the wire into your device and make sure you have the drivers for the platform. The link is in the description. Below you can adjust the platform rotation speed, as well as adjust the acceleration that is available on platforms manufactured since fall 2022. Use the start-stop buttons to check the rotation of the platform. If your platform has RGB backlight, go to the additional pixel tab, click Enable, click Scan, find your device and select it to connect. You can also see the adapter name on the bottom of the booth. The controller name starts with SP105E, serial number. In this tab you can adjust the backlight color manually or select one of the dynamic scenes. Go to the project tab and find the project with the slow-mo prefix. Click Use at Event, go to the menu and click Start Admin Mode. Choose one of the slow-mo projects for the video and click on the Start button. The session starts, the platform starts rotating and when the countdown expires, the camera will start recording. As soon as the camera finishes recording, the platform will stop. After the file will be downloaded from the camera and processing will begin. The result of your shoot can be found in the gallery. You can also start stop shooting with the page up hotkey, left button on the clicker. Congratulations, you have shot your first video on Spinner via Mixapap.